Raise your hands behind your back, away from your back. No, no behind your back, behind your behind back, back, behind back, back, away. No, no, stand, stand up, up, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Sure. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. All right. Stand behind your back. Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. What's going on guys? Key and K2 Simone here with Rebel News, and today I will be joining Sarah Miller, longtime lawyer of Arthur Pavlovsky for an update. Pastor Art was arrested yesterday at the Calgary airport upon his return to the country. He was speaking on a tour after he garnered international attention after first throwing out the government out of his church and then arrested in a SWAT-style takedown for refusing to close his church to comply with the COVID restrictions. He spent three days in jail and he faces up 21 days in jail for a contempt of court order. Pastor Archer's lawyer fees are being covered by your generous support, but he still needs your help. Please go to savearcher.com to keep crowdfunding his battle against the Alberta government. Yeah, so yesterday, uh, Monday, uh, Archer Poplowski was arrested at the airport on his arrival back to Calgary. Um, as some of you readers might know, he's been traveling in the United States for the past couple months. Um, and while he was away, uh, the Calgary Police Service decided that they wanted to lay a charge regarding um, church services held outdoors on June 5th. Um, so although they had you know, nearly a month to, to lay that charge before he had left, they decided to initiate the charge once he had uh, departed from the country, of course, and they can't actually serve him with the paperwork or charge him with the criminal offense. So as a result, a warrant was issued for his for his arrest, um, essentially so that they could lay the charge. So he was arrested at the airport yesterday for that purpose. And that warrant was issued while he was in the States, or why would they do that now? I think they were trying to make an example of him? Or? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, I mean, it's not clear to me. I, d I can't get into the minds of the police force, so I don't know why um, the timing or why the necessity of, of issuing a warrant rather than just, you know, they frankly, I'm sure they knew that he was traveling. It's not like he was evading uh, police or, or anything like that. And it's not like, uh, you know, a, a church service in June, in, at the beginning of June is, is really causing much harm to the public health in order to affect a, an arrest at the airport rather than um, an ordinary process, uh, which we saw with Peter Riker, which is show up at the house, give you paperwork, have you sign it, let you go on your way. Um, so yeah, definitely an interesting question. I'm not, I, as I say, I don't know. <laughs> so what does this mean exactly for his church or his ability to speak out, especially with these new restrictions? And yeah, so the new restrictions, of course, you know, impose certain, certain obligations. Uh, the, the most recent order has exemptions for, or exceptions for um, public protests, things like that. Um, of course, it, it doesn't create as many exceptions for, for worship services. So, I mean, that will be the same as it has been for the last 18 months. Um, you know, we, have, we in the public are subject to the public health orders until they are overturned or by either the courts uh, for being unconstitutional or by um, the, the CMH revoking those. So that, that pretty much stays the same. His We did his bail hearing last night, Archer's bail hearing last night. The condition that was put on, or the condition that was requested by the Crown was to not engage in uh, illegal gatherings. Um, when we were before the, the bail JP, I, I raised an issue with that. I don't, I, I found it ambiguous. Uh, engage didn't mean anything to me really. I don't know what engage means. Um, and I don't know what an illegal gathering is because A, it changes all the time and it's not that's not a defined term in any of the, the statutes or CMH orders. So uh, the JP agreed with me it was ambiguous and, and released to want to keep the peace and be in good behavior. So um, for now, I'll have to keep the peace and be in good behavior, which is um, pretty standard for, for a pastor, I think. Yeah. So um, hopefully it doesn't have too much but this particular, you know, release condition hopefully doesn't have too much of an effect on, on him going forward. But um, we'll we'll see how the police decide to enforce this. And speaking of the courts, we have a, um, a hearing on the October 13th, I believe. 
and he was actually coming home to essentially face his fate. And do we get like an update of how that's going now, or is it is this going to affect that in any way? Yeah. So this doesn't really affect the the civil proceedings. As you say, we're we're finally ramping up all those that that civil proceeding that has been going on since May. Um, so that will continue to be set for October 13th. We will get the uh, Justice Germain's decision on sanction. Um, you, you guys previously reported on you know my position versus AHS's position, or, or the Lasky's position, I should say, versus AHS. We really hope that Justice Germain comes to the right decision and does not incarcerate them, but that will remain to be seen on the 13th. With respect to this particular arrest and charge, this is going to be a completely different procedure, completely different court. This is going to be a provincial, or sorry, criminal court, not not a civil Queen's bench court. So, um, I, I mean, which is in many ways much better. Uh, the Crown prosecutors, what we've seen so far with respect to this, they actually look at these things. They looked at Peter Riker, co-accused of Art Kowalski on these criminal charges, and said no reasonable likelihood of conviction and, and withdrew those charges, as, as your viewers will probably know. So um, hopefully the Crown prosecutor will come to a similar conclusion on this one and, and we'll have it dealt with in relatively quickly. That's the hope. Just to uh, recap, what exactly are the actual Crown charges? Yeah, so Alberta Health Services is seeking 21 days incarceration uh, for Archer Poplowski and 10 days incarceration for David Poplowski. Um, those who followed the, the last court proceeding will know that my uh, the position that I put forward for the Poplowskis was that uh, that's really unreasonable. There, there's really, with these types of acts, no, no case law that supports incarceration. Um, and uh, there's just, there, it's, it's quite quite an aggressive stance um, for Alberta Health Services to, to see. So we'll see if if uh, Justice Germain agrees with me or agrees with Alberta Health Services. I want to thank Sarah Miller for giving us an update on Pastor Arthur Pawlowski's situation. He still has court on October 13th, where he will either be sentenced for 21 days in contempt of court, or he will be set free. We will continue to give you updates on the situation as it progresses. I want to thank you for tuning in. For Rebel News, I'm Kian Simone. I want to thank you so much for your support. I want to thank you for every dollar, for every, do every donation you have sent to the Rebel News for the lawyers that I can stay out of jail. Thank you, thank you, thank you. May God bless you for your heart. You're part of this movement. You're part of this defense. Without you, we would not be able to do what we have accomplished so far. Thank you very much and may God bless you.